Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. So when you are here, forget that you are Mrs. Apostle, Mrs. Bishop, Mrs. Prophet. You will go down because of the anointing. And when you go down, when you stand up, with you stand up with something new. Believe you me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm so very much happy. Kotsi anga ba kumbu nandi kofunza no tom. Bono mbona nandi kofunza baba. Oh, na sindi kodroba futi. Bato bo na bo. Chiri zie chila chewa chiamba i chikoite. So let us go to the word of God of the Lord. Are we ready? Are we ready? Can we all go to the book of Luke? Thank you, Father. Luke chapter 1. We'll read Luke chapter 1, verse 35 and 38. And after that, we can also go to Matthew chapter 19. And we'll read 25 and 26. Luke chapter 1. Ravale Mola 35. I believe we'll read 35 to 38 so that we can understand it better. Can I read? And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Let us also go and read in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 19, reveling 25 and 26. Can I read? When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word. Reveal it unto us according to your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have titled the message of today, God can do anything. Or we can say all things are possible in God or with God everything is possible. I have tackled the message of today, God can do everything, starting by looking at the story of Mary. Mary was a maid servant. Mary was betrothed, not yet taken. 
to the husband's house. And Mary again was waiting for Joseph to come and take her over to, to his house. And one day Mary when was seated, an angel appeared to her bringing a message. A message was a message of good news. This wonderful message that the angel brought to Mary was a message of saying a savior is going to be born. And this savior that is going to be born is going to be carried by you, Mary. And Mary asked, asked some questions up there if you can go and read it at home. How can this be? Because I don't even know a man. And the angel explained to her, saying, what is going to happen to you? It is going to come to pass because of the Holy Spirit, not because of the ability of men, or not because of the desires of men. The Holy Spirit will come and overshadow you, and that which you are going to be carrying, or what you are going to carry, will be called the Son of God. And then Mary answered and said unto the angel of the Lord, let it be according to your word. In other words, by saying let it be according to the word, Mary was saying, I agree, let it happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what I want us as children of God to look at today is that yes, we are in the house of the Lord today. And can you ask the person that is close to you, what is it that you want today in the house of the Lord? I am here so that the Lord God can take me to the next level. This is my own reason. I want God to teach me more. I want God to make me understand more of his word. So now when we come to the house of the Lord, we come because we have different reasons. Still coming to the house of the Lord, being in the house of the Lord as children of the Lord under one roof. But our reasons of being in the house of the Lord are not the same. Are you hearing me? Now what we have read, we are hearing about the possibility of what God can do. Our God can do above what men think. Our God can do beyond men's imagination. Our God can do something you have never thought in your life is going to happen to you. But there is only one thing that is needed so that the supernatural happenings of the Lord can start happening in your life. It's when you say, let it happen according to your word. Now, when we come to the house of the Lord as children of God, we miss this one word. That is why you see us moving from place to place, from house of worship to another. Why? Because the word that we miss is, let it happen according to your word. Well, I can be given a prophecy. I can be told a word by the man of God. But if I do not accept that word, maybe I'm, I'm doubting what was said. What was said will never come to pass or happen in my life. Why? Because I never agreed the word to come and work in my life as it was said. When you hear the word of the Lord, it's up to you to accept it the way it is. And the minute you accept that word, that's where the word starts to work in you. You can stay in the house of the Lord for good 25 years and you find that there is nothing that is happening in your life. Why? Because when the word is being spoken, you don't accept it into your heart. You don't allow the word of the Lord 
God to work in your life. Chipiri, the secret here is we must accept Uri, the word of the Lord must work in us. Hallelujah. When we have read again in the book of Matthew, we are hearing Jesus speaking to a man. This man was rich. This man was blessed. And this man it's like you and me wanted to follow Jesus. Hmm? Now when he came to Jesus, he asked him, I, how can I be saved? How, how, how can I go about it? What can I do so that I become saved? The Bible says Jesus looked at him and said, go and sell everything that you have. And when you have sold everything, come and follow me. That's where you'll be saved. The disciples who were there were amazed. What Petro were amazed. Never mind. Now, because the word of the Lord, we said we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. The word of the Lord says we are blessed as we go in and as we go out. It means when we are in the kingdom, when we are children of God, we must be blessed, we must be rich, we must have things. Now, why Jesus is saying this kind of words? And then he came to them to explain why he told that man. Or go and sell, and after selling, come back and follow. You will be saved. In other words, Jesus was trying to explain to that man that if you are still in the physical, it is difficult for the word of the Lord to manifest itself in you. Now, many of us, when we go to the house of the Lord, this is what is happening in this time that we are living in. We go into the house of the Lord because we want God to bless us. We go into the house of the Lord because we want to be rich. I'm not saying richness is evil. But if we can go to the house of the Lord, the initiative thing that we are searching for is that, Lord, I want your word to work in me. And when the word works in you, the Bible said everything will follow. Now this man was still in flesh. That's why Jesus was able to see him. Or if I can say to him, follow me, it will be a problem for him because he's got blessings, he's got businesses. There are things that he's still doing. There are things that he has to do first before he comes and follow me. Now, man, when you want to follow me, when you want to be saved, walata, you throw away, after throwing away, you come, you follow. Everything will be right for you. Now many of us, children of God, children of my father, let me explain to you. When we come into the house of the Lord, we come with expectations. The problem is we have expectations. But we don't know how to activate the power of God to work into our expectations. Mara ari dibi uri resuiti saa ani uri fila mzimu li shume karine. Riko no wana esila zwena zwila veresa. Riantong nyamu dimu na lindilo teri di lebele chiru. Mara ari dibi uri riti e shwa anguri li nchila mudimu. Hali mulelo habari mudimu ya fodisha. Uzibe utola podisho ya wii nyaka anka wabani li nchili mulechi. The Bible says, for with God, nothing is impossible. Mary was still a young girl, promised to be married. But the spirit of the Lord came over her. And when the spirit of the Lord came over her, she was found to be having a child. She was pregnant. Le money sister Mary. Happy sister Marina. Ukara sali sister Mary on rumo zebang. We no longer know her. She's different. Can't you know? This is what is happening, children of God. When you want the supernatural word and power of God to 
work in your life, you say, let it happen according to your word. Father, I believe you can do it for me. When you want spiritual things to happen in your life, you don't use physical ways. You don't use your physical understanding. You don't use the ways of men. You use the way of the spirit. The rich men, the, the blessed men didn't understand that there was a way for the spirit. For God to be able to manifest whatever you want to do in people's life. These days we are seated in our fleshly being. But we want God to reveal himself in a spiritual way. And it will never happen. Hallelujah. We need to be accessible to the spirit of the Lord. When you still have a lot of things that you care about, you will never be accessible to the spirit of the Lord. When you reach the house of the Lord, there are so many things that we are searching for as children of the Lord. Now, because we are looking at what I want, the spirit of the Lord cannot penetrate into you. Are you hearing me? When you are in the house of the Lord waiting, lifting your hands. Sorry to give this example. Say, see, you are busy looking at that brother on the other, other side. People are rolling, are screaming and shouting and you are asking yourself, The problem is when you are lifting your hands, you are lifting them, yes, we can see you physically, but spiritually you are not there. We do things to be seen by men. We worship so that people can see we can worship. We sing so that people can understand that we can sing. But the time is coming and now the time is here. That true worshippers shall worship God in spirit and in truth. When we do the things of God, we will be doing them in reality. When we say God is here, he will be here in truth. When we say we have seen him, we would have seen him in reality. It's long we'll be seeing things that are not there. The time is now where we must allow the spirit of the Lord to manifest in our lives. Most of the time when I'll be standing there, I'll say to my church, to my children, please be stupid in front of God. When you come to the house of the Lord, be stupid. Forget about who we are. Forget about where you're coming from. Forget about your car. Forget about your house. Forget about your children. Raise your hands. Close your eyes. Be stupid. When you want to shout, shout like a crazy man. When you want to do your things, do them that there is nothing, there's not, nobody that is close to you. Why? Because you want to penetrate into the spirit world. The Bible says, for with God, nothing is impossible. If you have been having uh, whatever for those many, many years, let me tell you one up, up, and I say, I will not if you were now, you open your heart, you will get your healing in Jesus' name. If there is a job that you are searching for today, let me tell you, you'll get it in Jesus' name. Even though a hand has not been laid on you. Just because you opened your heart to him. So now wherever we go in whatever things we do, our problem is we don't understand that the spirit can never manifest in the physical. The spirit only manifests in the spiritual. Are you hearing me? And when the spirit of the Lord start manifesting in your spirit, what we will be seeing, start seeing in your life, 
will be blessing upon blessing. What I love about the spirit of the Lord is this one. When the spirit of the Lord enters you, you have joy unspeakable. You start to meet things that you have never met before. You know, you start to speak things that you even wonder why you are saying this. It's why? Because it is the spirit of the Lord that is working in you. We cry all day and many times and say, Lord, deliver me. Oh God, deliver me. Lord, I, I want to, to go to the next level. Lord, I want you to take me to the next level. I'm here with a secret today. Let us enter the spiritual realm of the Lord. And when we are there with God, nothing is impossible. It only needs us to enter the spiritual realm of the Lord. To enter into his presence. There was a man called Paul. I love this man, Apostle Paul. He says, it's no longer I that lives, but Christ that liveth in me. Hmm? For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Hmm? And in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, the Bible says, you cannot please God without faith. You must have faith, and when you have faith, now all things will happen to you. What is it that the Bible is telling us? It's telling us this. When you start to enter is to, into the spiritual realm. Oh, let me start by explaining a little bit about spiritual realm. This is what happens. When, when I started uh, this thing of singing here in the church, I believe there was a time some time ago where we recorded a CD, if you can remember. And after that time, all those CDs sold and they were finished, finished. And we were supposed to print others. And now a challenge came. We were allowed to print a certain number of CDs. Now if I want to print another number or keep printing new print, prints, CDs for my music, I must go public. Keep public. I must be known. I must register. I must what what? Those kind of things. And the person who was explaining those things to me, the musician, and he's singing and he prepared the people to to record me so that I can go international. Let me say it so public. And then my husband sat down with me and said, what are you saying? I said, you know what? I made an oath. I will only sing in the house of the Lord. Hey, this one. I'm not saying it's wrong. But I'm afraid I'll be out of faith. I don't want to do it. And that man came and, you know, talked to us and speak, spoke how uh, people are searching for the CD and uh, whatever and whatever and many, many, many other things and opportunities in the singing industry. Hey, it was big money. Hey, it was good. I said, yeah, I understand it's very good, but please, can you just give me this opportunity? I want to worship in the house of the Lord. Because when I'm standing there, I raise my hands. When I'm worshiping, I feel the spirit of the Lord. And amazingly, I will see tears coming down my face. I don't even understand what is going on with me. After some time, I will find myself kneeling down and crying and say, Lord, I love you. So is this thing going to happen when I'm standing on stage? I don't think so. I said to him, because of that, I want to sing in the altar of God. Why? The reason was, it's not because I don't want that money. Mm -mm. 
The issue is there is something that I'm searching for in the spiritual. I want to enter the holy of holies in the realm of God where I can be able to touch God himself. And when I'm close to him, my Bible tells me everything is possible. The minute I enter into the Holy of Holies, it says, everything is possible. When you come out of that place, this is what I've seen many times when we finish worshiping. I'm a worshiper by life. I worship even at home. When you finish worshiping, crying, when you stand up, you will find your face glowing. I said, I'm afraid to, to, to lose this glow that I always see. I don't know where it comes from, but I believe it's the presence of the Lord. Now, when you are in the presence of the Lord, when you are feeling the pain this side, you said, mm, this is not a pain. No, I am in the presence of the Lord. God is just telling me something or making me learn something so that I can understand things better tomorrow. Why? Because before the Lord, there are no troubles and problems. When we meet problems, when we are Christian, God is just teaching us something. For with him, there is nothing impossible. If I totally enjoy. I will love But the day you get your job, you will know that it was not me. It's not by mighty nor by power. It is by the spirit of the Lord. That is why I am here today. Now our problem is when we come to the house of the Lord, we cry for things of the flesh and we neglect the world of the spirit. The flesh cannot work when the spirit is not there. Even if you can have many riches and everything that you want, but when the spirit is not there, you will lose it. Why? Because enemies are too much. And now because you're not in the spirit, everything will just vanish away. But when you are in the spirit, the Bible says all things are possible. When you call him and say, Father, Today I'm not well, like what I'm telling you. Today I'm not well, who? Oh. I don't even know what to do, Father. Must I go and preach? And in your heart you will feel the Spirit of the Lord saying, Go and say what I've told you. And you say, Father, I will go. And when I reach there, let it happen according to your word. And when I stand there, I know, Father, you are going to strengthen me so that I can then be what you, God, want me to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the spirit that, the, the person that is close to you, are you understanding the spirit really? Philippians 4, chapter 13 says, I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me. After writing, can you ask the person that is close to you? When? If you might understand what is written there, it's saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It means there must be something in you, then all will be done. I read in the Bible one day in Muhuwedi, Ecclesiastes. Here in the Mahanda, vanity of all vanities. Hmm? It will all pass by because it's vanity. It means our toiling and our suffering. And all the troubles we are putting ourselves in. There is only one thing that stands. 
It's when the spirit of the Lord is the one that is directing us. Let me tell you, you can never make it if you are not being directed by the spirit of the Lord. When you have the spirit of the Lord in you, things that don't happen to others will happen to you. What we have read, the Bible says, even Elizabeth, the one who was called barren, can you tell the person that is close to you, barren? She is now with child and is the sixth month. When we go outside there, there are names that people are calling us with. Eh? How Ricky Afita Munayu Oh, they put out telling yourself, hey, today on I'm going to church. And when you pass by, look at her. Hmm? You've been here in Charis for three good years. Nothing is happening to you. Let me tell you, God is still penal beating you. When the queen in you emerges next year, they will wonder what kind of a God are you serving. This woman was called barren. Mwopa. Anaban. Hey. Hanti, when she becomes pregnant, she will come with a man who will walk in the wilderness. Mm? A man who will open the way for the Christ. For all these years, when God was not giving him a, ch a child, it is because God was still preparing and washing and cleaning the womb. Because the womb was supposed to carry something different from everybody. That is why God took his time in preparing Elizabeth. That is why for Jesus to come, it was easy. Because the road opener was already there. Ganda ganda lo bali hone. Ganda ganda lo lo wadi wanga Elisa. Ganda ganda ngachi pedo sifimini. Bulldozer. Bulldozer was carried by Elizabeth. Hmm? And now when Elizabeth gave, gave birth, then Jesus came. Now when Jesus came, it was not so bad for him to come because the bulldozer has already bulldozed all the trees and the stones that were there. Now when Jesus went to be baptized, John said, here comes. Eh? Here comes. Why? Because John knows him. Because he was the one who was bulldozing. You never bulldoze anything. That's why you don't know. Mutua shoe pulushi to lin chorello di akimula la gaspid. I want everybody to understand. I understand they are older people. Mutua shoe. Opulu so malobanyana anamu. As kiss. And how fit amu. Napilo nyo kota wabo di matoya kaika sona. When you come, you must come and ask me, Mama, how do we do it? I will tell you. Because I'm the bulldozer. I didn't call myself to be bulldozer. I was placed by God to be a bulldozer. So now when you come, that is why your road is so smooth. Because the bulldozer has bulldozed everything. I don't know if you are hearing me. But what do we have to have, children of God? We must allow the Spirit of the Lord to work in us. Everything that is at standstill right now in our life, every door is open. Even if you can take 20 years not manifesting, I'm talking to pastors. But one day you are going to manifest. No maganjan. As long as God is the one who called you. 
Wanabomba, even if you only degree get taro, you don't get a job. Let me tell you, your time is coming. You are going to get that job. Even if you have taken very much long waiting for that house that you are searching for and that house is not coming, let me prophesy over you. Your house is coming because it's long God has been preparing the house for you. This is what happens to people who wait upon the Lord and wait for the Lord to do something in their lives. When they start getting what they are waiting for. Hmm? When the spirit of the Lord starts working in them. Example, look at me. Your complexion change. Your hairstyle change. Even when we are fat, how are paradigm channel? Eh? Why? Because you've been waiting, man. Yeah, when I even those things that people call the cellulite, in me, they are not there. Why? Because there was God working in me, making me to be what I am today. <laughs> Let me tell you, you can wait for many, many, many years. After going out of school, I waited for many years searching for a job. I never get one. I cried and I cried with my degree and my diplomas. Nothing worked. Until I surrender, I said, God, let it be according to your will. I'm tired. One girl one day just came into our church and say, she was our church member, a little girl. Mama, I, I heard you are searching for a job. Don't you want a job? I said, I want it. There is, where, 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 please, can you go tomorrow? They are hiring people. And I woke up in the morning, I went there. I was taken some time and I started working. So now because Banabama, we don't know. When you find that the job is not coming, you start insulting. I'm telling the truth, isn't it? Hale. Charis is a house of grace. When you are taking long, God is just fixing things in your life. I got a job. I started working as a temporary. I worked and worked. And where I was working, a permanent position came. You're going to ask Bishop Shuru to leave. I was working with her. I got a permanent post right there. There were people who were there from last of last of last of last year. But I came this year. Next year, I got a permanent position. Okay? After getting a permanent position, I went there to work. I found I was working with Hey, and I was in trouble. Just because they know us that these days we don't do Africans in school. They will backbite me sitting there. Handy, they don't know I have a C in Africans. I'm hearing everything they are saying. And I will just hold my peace because I knew God is the one who brought me there. And they will talk and they will talk and talk and talk and I will never answer them. When I got there, go out is their time of speaking. They said, one day I was sitting there, they said, we must make sure that she goes out. And I said there, I did my job, I did my job. Those who do these things of uh, the companies, they know. My plant tripped one day. I had to go out and run out. When I ran out, somebody must help me from the inside. The person who was supposed to help me from the inside hated me with all his heart. 
When I went outside, instead of him collaborating with me, he made things worse outside. And acid came out flowing from the top. I was supposed to be bent the whole body. But by the grace of God, I was never bent. I went back to him. I told him, Why? what are you doing? I said, no, it was a mistake. I said, okay, I understand. Let's go and let's do the right thing. And we did the right thing. It was not long. After a few months when that thing happened, one day I was walking, working, again in the same plant. When I was standing, I saw a light of God. It was my first time of seeing such kind of a thing. And I stood there, I looked. I said, what is this? I heard clearly in my voice, leave this job now. Oh, Mudimwak. Hey. Papa, Jesus, Holy Ghost, suffering. I've suffered. Hmm? If I can leave this one, I don't know where I'll get another one. I'm telling you my testimony. The following week again, the light came. I said, leave this job. Hey, just. When I reached home, I said to my husband, you know, today I was at work. This thing has happened last time. I didn't say something happened to me and this thing happened and told me I must leave the job. What do you think? And my husband said, let's pray about it. I said, okay, let's pray. Now, since when I told him that somebody told me to leave the job, even though I didn't understand it was God, my peace left me. I was just going because I had to go. We prayed and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed. By then, ears were not hearing. I was waiting on my husband to tell me what God is saying. And my husband was not saying anything. Until one day on a Sunday beautiful morning, he just woke up. He said, Artamai, let's go. Let me accompany you to work. I said, okay, let's go. I used to work also on Sundays. And when I go on the road, he say, you are going to resign. I say, oh, thank you, Lord. Why are you saying thank you, Lord? It's long I've been hearing I must go and resign. So today, when I resigned, I didn't even make notice. I just entered office, write a letter, left it there for the manager, and I went out. And off I went until today. Now, let me tell you something. Why am I telling you this thing? When God has penetrated you for a very long time, it is because he's, he's preparing something good for you. What you are going to get will never look like that which of your brother or your cousin. It will be something different. Why? Because God is the one who initiated it. And the things that happened to you in that situation are different to the things that happened to others. Why? Because you are not the same as them. Now you may be where you are seated being somebody like me. I have spoken this so that you must understand. I'm seeing the hearts of others crying. Mama, it's long I've, I've been sitting, not getting a job. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Wait, you will see what God will do for you. You cannot serve God the way you are serving him, open-hearted, worshipping him with all your heart, and God just leave you as you are. It cannot happen. When you are truthful and faithful to God, God must do something about your life. It needs the spirit of the Lord to be revealed in you so that you can be able to enter into places where somebody has never entered. Can somebody say hallelujah? Can you tell the person that is close to you? For with God, nothing is impossible. That is why when I started, I say, what is it that you want? There are so many about Elizabeth here. Am I right? Not Elizabeth because of Bethany. Elizabeth of jobs. Boy, Elizabeth of money. Boy, Elizabeth of uh, marriage. 
Oh, Elizabeth of fame. Hey, all these things are found. But let me tell you, if we are doing it, going about it by the Spirit of the Lord, we are going to get it one day. Amen. Hallelujah. If it happened to Elizabeth, I want to tell you today, it is your day, it must happen. If the spirit of the Lord is the one that is reigning in this place, today your life must change in the name of Jesus. If it is the spirit of the Lord that is working in this place, you must get your breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. If the spirit of the Lord is the one working in, the, in this place, if it has happened to Paul, it must happen to you. If it happens to Mary, it must happen to you. If it happens to Paul and Silas in prison, it must happen to you. If it happens to all the apostles, it must surely today happen to you. But the most important thing is seek ye first the kingdom of God and all shall follow. You are not going now, we don't seek first the kingdom, we seek first things. And God shall follow. So I'm rectifying you. We seek first God and the kingdom. And all will follow. God is not a liar like man. If God said he will bless you, he means it is going to bless you. If God says he will elevate you, he means it is going to elevate you. If God says you are going to be a big man of God, I'm telling you, it is going to happen. You are going to be a big man of God. Satan, we are a lawyer. Baba, when we are just standing, we are in we are in a freeway with traffic. Traffic because there are a lot of cars in front of you that are blocking you. spiritual wars, hey, so many things. But there is one thing that God has destined. For us children of this house. This is a year of jubilee. This is a year of jubilee. Can you tell the person that is close to This is a year of jubilee. Something must change. In your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for God to change your life? Are you ready for God to open your doors? Are you ready that God may do something beautiful and wonderful in your life? In Galatians 2.20, I'm finishing. It is what I've been saying. I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who lives. But Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. When Paul was saying these words, he wanted me and you to understand that when we are in Christ, we must live in the spiritual world, realm. Always, we must not dwell in flesh. He said, the life that I now live, I live by faith. Because I shall in night, it's no longer I that liveth, but Christ lives in me. And now the things that I do now in flesh, it's no longer I who is doing them. Christ who is in me is the one who is doing them. Hallelujah. If we are children of God, I beseech you today, can we allow the spirit of the Lord to rule in our lives? Let us get out of flesh. Let us allow the spirit of the Lord to be the one who is the driving force of our lives. Things will come and appear. Things will go. But please hold on to the word that God has told you in the beginning. 
This is what I believe in. When that day you stood up and you say, Lord, I want to follow you. I want to be saved. There is a word that touched your soul that you have heard. Isn't it? And that word made you to stand up and stand in front. Lift your hands, close your eyes, and follow the pastor that was praying and say from today, I am your child. I thank you, Lord, for salvation in Jesus' name. Maybe that day when you gave your life to Christ, the pastor was preaching. If you don't get saved, you'll get to go to hell. So now, if you want to live, you must be saved so that you can go to heaven. One of them, can you live waiting for heaven to come to you? Waiting for that word you had to appear in your life. When you were saved, maybe it was because you came to church, you were very sick. When you were very sick, you heard the word and you were prayed for. You become healed. They say, Jesus is the healer. And you were healed of your problems and your affirmatives. So now can you hold on to that word? When somebody comes and tells you something, you said, I know him. He has healed me. You don't know where I'm coming from. That's what I love to tell people. You don't know where I'm coming from. You don't know the things that I went through. You don't know the things that I come across. Now you cannot tell me about the God that I'm serving. If really is not the real God, I will see it. But since I started serving him, I see him as a real God. So now when challenges come into our life, we go out of our faith. Because of challenges that God has brought in our lives so that he can channel us. Can you tell the person that is close to you, God is channeling you. In the book of Acts, there is a story there. I don't want us to go there and read. That says one day, Paulus, Paul, there was a shikrep, shikrep, and they found themselves in Malta. Uh, and when they were there, they went to make fire. He was saved from the sea. And when they went to make fire, he was beaten by a snake. Do you know the story I'm talking about? And when he was beaten by a snake, there were people there. After being beaten by the snake, she no know after biting him, it clinged to his hand until he shook it and it fell into the fire. So now after that, they watched him. They counted minutes. They looked. They looked at their watches. Hey, it's not happening. This man is not falling. The Bible says they were waiting for him to fall and die. But let me tell you something. You can never predict the life of a man who is living in spirit. Amen. When you are living in spirit, you don't go according to the things or the ways of men. You go according to the way of God. Why? Because he was still having a dream. I want to reach Rome. Now, so fit in Rome. I said, Nete. So, no, he was not going to die before he reached Rome. He was saved in the water. Now, a snake bites him. He is also alive still. Why? 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 Because God told you, I, my daughter, I'm going to bless you. Hmm? What you want, I will give you. Before you see it with your two eyes, you will never die. As long as you trust in God. So Paul hasn't yet reached his desired destination. So he couldn't die even though he was in the water. One time he was jailed by Silas. In the middle of the night they started singing, worshipping. I don't know what they were singing or what they were saying. Maybe they were saying, Ulugi 
Even when they've beaten them up, they still find joy of worshipping the Lord. When they were worshipping the Lord, heaven shook and said, No, my son cannot stay in jail. Why he has not done anything? I must go down and release him. The Bible says the jail started to shook and shake. And when the jail was shaking, the doors opened. When the doors opened, they went on worshipping the Lord. Even Am I telling the truth? But Paul was a child, but he was having a mission. When the prison guard comes, he's going to ask, How did it happen? Here are the keys. Now the opportunity comes. Paul was born to preach to the Gentiles. Now it was his opportunity to tell this man, you know what, there is Jesus. You know what, there is God in heaven. You know what, there is the owner of heaven and earth. You know there is a God who is alive. You know again, there is a spirit of the most high God that works in us. When we shake the heavens, the heavens shake the roots of the earth. That's the God that I'm talking about. Now the jailer said, tell me. What is it that I can do to be saved? And they told me, come now, let us explain. The Bible said he was baptized with the whole family. Yeah. Why? This man, Paul, was in his mission. If you can go and read the Bible, as he said, he was supposed to go and preach to the Gentiles. That's about Gentile skin. Not Jews pull off outside. So now this man, everything that was happening to him was leading him to go and tell the Gentiles that there is Jesus of Nazareth who is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to tell you something. I want to finish. There is a God who is able to do everything. This God that I'm talking about is the God in heaven. And this God that I'm talking about, he does not lie. You. And this God that I'm talking about, he does not change. And this God that I'm talking about, he does not change the word he has spoken. If God came to you one day and say, I'm healing you. If you are not seeing healing coming to you. If there is nothing behind you, tell yourself it is the will of the Father. I know something is going to happen to us. Most of the time, there are things that we hear each and every day. Like what my husband loves to say, Charis is a prophetic church. Yes, we are being told things each and every day. But sometimes I sit down and I cry. Why are these things not coming to pass in lives? Are the ones that are stopping what is supposed to happen in you. If you and me, we can allow the spirit of the Lord to minister into us each and every day. And we are led by the spirit. Going with the spirit is a very easy thing. Can I tell you how it is? Close your eyes, close your ears, and walk. When he said turn, you turn. When he said jump, when he said sit, when he said stand out, you stand. Everything will be possible. Now our problem is, we read the way things are happening in the lives of people. Hmm? And our problem, the biggest one problem is we read the things of people on earth, not that are in the Bible. Remember what has happened in the Bible in the time of old. It's a mirror of what must happen to us now. Am I right? Now, what was supposed to be happening with us right now? 
who is supposed to have been blessed with all spiritual blessings. Hmm? Jano, can you ask the person that is close to you, who is delaying you? Ure au fetule re ansami. Uta kwa wena. Hmm? There is a delay. And I don't believe this delay is coming from heaven. This delay is somewhere. Anev. Says, Anev, Anev, Anev. Anamo, Anamo. Right here where we are, there is a delay. Hmm? There is delay. So today I want to tell you, as I'm finishing, if you want to prosper, do what I've done. Close your ears and your eyes and allow God to speak to you and you follow. You'll make it where you are going. It is only a heart that is searching for God that will reach where God has destined you for. Keep watching Charis TV.